All right, guys, welcome back. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to work with checkboxes. And our starting point is just a blank button. So what we'll say is we're going to make an application where we are opening a sub shop. And or actually, did you know that some people call subs like hoagies? Um, you know, from Subway, some people call them hoagies. And uh, what a I heard people call them something else really weird I can't think of it right now if you know leave me a comment and uh but yeah we're gonna open up a hoagie or a sub shop and we're gonna have a bunch of different options what do you want on your sub turkey ham lettuce tomato so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have some check boxes the user's gonna check all the stuff that they want and then they're gonna hit like click me or order let me change that to order now not in order now order now alright so that's our starting point let's go ahead and make some checkboxes alright so it comes from the class checkbox so make sure that you have this imported and I'll just call the first one box one well, actually I only have two options but it, the technique is the same whether you have one option or a hundred so set this equal to a new checkbox and you can set well 99% of the time you also want to include um, a label and this is the text that appears to the right of the checkbox and you always want to have this so the user actually knows what the heck they're trying to check the reason that you might not have this is I don't know maybe you're making your own custom like grid layout and you're gonna have the labels um, you know like on the left hand side or whatever but anyways that is how you make a checkbox so let me just copy this and I'll make another one right under it named uh, this one can be for tuna so again these subs are pretty boring you can get either bacon or tuna on your sub and you can also have both if you want but anyway since we're using a vertical layout then these are gonna appear right under each other so whenever I add them to the screen I'm gonna add box one then box two and then the button so again, this is what we got going on so far. Have two checkboxes, bacon, tuna. So the user can select whatever they want and hit order now. And then it will eventually submit their order. Now, another thing I want to point out is this. You see how by default, nothing was checked. If you want to have one of these boxes checked by default, maybe you um, are like selling pizzas and you always want to have cheese checked by default. Then what you can do is this you can say something like uh, box 2 which would be tuna and you can say set selected true and this is just gonna go ahead and check it by default again the user can still uncheck it if they want but whenever your app launches it's just gonna have a little checkbox by default alright so they check whatever they want on their sub and they hit order now and nothing happens so how do we you know actually check what checkboxes are checked what options are you know um, what toppings does the user want on their sub well what we need to do is under this button actually let me change this to Bucky's subs I'll say Bucky's meat subs that could be the name of the restaurant just meat what if someone called a sub restaurant and you're like, what would you like on your sub? And they're just like, do you guys have any meat? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'll just have a meat sub, please. That's stupid. What am I talking about on <laughs> the tutorial? All right, meat sub. Meat sub, where do I come up with this stuff? All right, so button, what do we want to occur whenever the user clicks this button? Well, let's just go ahead and make a method called handle options. Now inside here, we're going to toss in box one and box two. And in the method, we'll just say um, whatever options they selected were just print out on the screen. So private void, we don't really need to return anything since we're just printing it out in the terminal. And it was called handle options. Let me add a comment. Handle check box options. All right. So again, it takes two parameters depending on how many checkboxes you have. Checkbox, I'll just keep the same names. Box one, checkbox, box two. So we're passing in 
both of those checkboxes in here and for the message that we're going to print out on the screen I'll just call it string message alright yeah, I forgot my semicolon alright so how do we check if a checkbox is selected or not it is incredibly simple all we do is we get a reference to whatever checkbox we want to check and we call the method is selected now this is going to return true if it's checked and it's going to return false if it's not checked so now we can say if it is selected we'll just add something to the message so the first one was bacon and uh, we'll just say I don't know we'll just write bacon and we'll just put like users order right here so we know what's going on and might as well pop a new line on that alright so now we can just do the same thing with checkbox 2 and we'll say if box 2 is selected then add on tuna to that message as well alright now system out massage alright so now of course whenever you run this what's gonna happen whenever we click order now both of these checkboxes are gonna get passed in and whenever the user does have something selected for example let me just order a tuna sub it's gonna say users order order tuna now they can of course check both of them users order bacon tuna and if I clean this up a little bit just add some new lines and make it look a little bit prettier alright so as expected they can order tuna bacon and tuna just bacon and they can actually place an order for nothing since we didn't check for that but you guys can figure out how to do that really easily so anyways that is how you create checkboxes how to give them default values whether they're checked or not checked and also how to extract whatever options they check from them so yeah simple as that thank you guys for watching if you want any of this then I'll stick it on my github page for you guys and uh, well see you guys later